Oh, it's crazy to think about, but summer vacation is almost here. So it's time to start planning ahead to keep your kids busy. Kitchen Pantry Scientist has a new book called Steam Lab for Kids. So Liz Heineke joins us here on this mid morning. We're very excited about Steam Lab, not just because my son is in yeah, the book yeah, and yeah. helped with some of these model scientists. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very handsome. It's, yeah, it's very, yes. <laughs> but it's um, it, there's so many cool experiments in there. I love how you expanded beyond, you know, into the engineering and the arts and I mean. Look at it was stuff. so much fun, and I got to. Yeah. I actually have some great quotes in there by people who have really combined art and tech or art and engineering in their jobs. Yeah. So cool. Anyway, this okay, is... to start, these are some good rainy day experiments. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, um, this is sort of a math experiment. I have the book sectioned into the different yep. science, tech, mm -hmm. engineering, art, and math. This is a math experiment. These are tessellations. Tessellations are just basically repeating patterns with no spaces mm -hmm. in between. And kids can make these using just some glue and um, pasta or gum. Gum smells really yeah. good. Sure. If they want to eat the gum, they can do it wrapped and then, you know, take off pieces when they want them. That's fun. But tessellations are cool. You find them in nature. You see them in honeycombs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see them in crystals. Crystals are three dimensional tessellations, huh. which is pretty cool. So once you That's teach cool. this, then the kids start seeing these patterns That's out great. in the world. Exactly. Always like apply what you learn to real life. Yeah. Okay. Have puzzles, this is perfect. Right. They are, and tessellation, mm -hmm. another word for this is tiling, and you can see mm -hmm. why. Yeah. And I discovered I'm, it's harder than it looks. Like, it's kind of hard to get perfect patterns. Yeah, it's um, Escher, M.C. Escher, I talk about artists a lot in the book. Oh, M.C. Escher was the master of, of tessellations. Yeah, you can find cool. them in his disappearing staircases. All right, let's talk about molecules. Molecules, so chemistry. Mm -hmm. Kids will do any project that involves candy, yes, right? Yes, they will. So <laughs> that is, a, that is if, the you, truth. if you buy soft candy like this and some toothpicks, mm -hmm. kids can go online, look up pictures of different molecules, and recreate them. And mm -hmm. while they do it, they're learning about this. So I'm going to give you each. What did we make here? Do you These know? are, what do you think this is? If we have one oxygen molecule and two hydrogen oh, molecules, oh, right? Water. Water. Little H2O. Okay. Very and kids, nice. kids could even make a bunch of these. Um, and rearrange them on like a yeah. cookie sheet so that they're ice, they're perfectly spaced, mm -hmm. or like they're um, water, so they kind of mix them up. Very cool. Um, I'm a micro, I'm a molecular biologist mm -hmm. by trade. This is a DNA molecule. How cool that is that? Is oh, that is super easy to helix make. There. Edible mm -hmm. DNA, double helix. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so that's fun. And then you have dessert afterwards. So. That's the best yeah. part of it. <laughs> My kids were like, "Are you going to bring that home?" Yeah. <laughs> Edible science is yeah. the way to go. Okay, glue guns are awesome. One mm -hmm. thing that's cool, kids can't recreate actual, like, um, making brass sculptures, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. But they can do casting using hot glue. So basically, I've done it with shells, but you could do it with anything. Here, you guys do this. Take a shell, press it in. Here you go, Heather. Thank Here you, you go, Jason. Mm -hmm. Press it right. in to some Play-Doh. Play-Doh works better than sculpting play because it doesn't melt yep. as easily. Um, and then what you're going to do, I'll give each of you a glue gun. You're going to fill up that space with hot glue. So take the shell out. Fill the space up with hot glue, and then I'm going to show viewers. This is one I poured just before you guys came on. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Isn't that it's like our oh, own oh, 3D yeah. printing. It's a shell. It is oh, like an armadillo. It is oh, an armadillo. I saw some legs sticking off the side. It's a shell. Okay. I think that's a great idea. You yeah. could put some little googly eyes on it and make it into an so armadillo. So you kind of fill it in. But yeah, it you fill it in. It hardens, and it's the same way that so Rodan cool. casted brass. So brass oh, wow, is mostly really? copper, but yeah. it's um, several metals mixed together. So. I try to talk cool. about art history, about yeah. the science behind mm -hmm. art. And you can see these shells. I don't know if the viewers can see them, but it's hard to tell the real shells from the ones that we've cast. Yeah. So. Yeah. WCCO.com slash links to get to Liz's website. Mm -hmm. Liz, thank you. Yeah.